anymore. If I could just be honest about that, and if I could confess that to the Lord with my mouth, it says, He is righteous and He is just. Forgive me. Yes. Amen. He chooses to forget. Isn't that an amazing promise? Friends, I want to read something to you from the 103rd Psalms. And I really want you to hear this tonight. Because I think it is such a beautiful illustration of the love of God towards his people. I'm going to read from the 103rd Psalm, starting off in round verse 10. And it says this, He, meaning God, does not treat us as our sins deserve. No, our sins deserve punishment, death, hell. But he doesn't treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. Again, our sins. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions. So far as he removed our sins for us. Now friends, tell me, how far is the east from the west? Infinite is his love and his forgiveness for you and for me when we come to him with repentance and ask for his forgiveness. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are just dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it's gone. And its place is remembered no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, is the Lord's love with those who fear him. Friends, the Lord has an everlasting love for you. And he has chosen to forgive your sin. I'm going to ask my brother, Pastor Nate, to come on up. And I'm going to ask Brother Steve, if you just play a little soft music. I would